Now, look, I have seen stories about uh, this issue, this next issue before, and it makes me scratch my head. Uh, but I'm very glad that someone who is proposing uh, this rather radical change is prepared to talk to me. And I, I read an article by this person on Newsroom, which is one of those activist lefty type um, government uh, funded and supported news sites. I, I read it this week and I thought, gosh, it would be interesting to have a debate and a discussion about the ideas expressed there. And the idea is that uh, because climate change is such a terrible hand-wringing, world-ending problem, we should suspend democracy and just get expert people to form assemblies. So we get rid of the democratic process and you have these, like, citizens' assemblies full of people who go to the right dinner parties and drink Chardonnay and they can decide what everyone else should do in order to save the planet. Well, that is rather my simplistic and deliberately provocative view of the ideas. But I'm uh, very uh, pleased to uh, say welcome to uh, Pat Basket, who is an author and a climate change, I think, activist, someone interested in it, who wrote this piece uh, in, new, in Newsroom headline, headline that, um, well, saying that she makes a case for citizens' assembly as a way to address the gap between government policy and clam climate anxiety. Pat, welcome to the platform. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Okay. Um, I'm pleased that you've taken up this issue. I'm, uh, I'm sorry that you have misinterpreted it. This is not any suspension of democracy. It's, in fact, an augmentation... Pat, Pat can I just uh, ask you, are you on speakerphone, or could you go to think... You're just sounding very echoey. Ah, oh, I, I... OK, I don't know why. I... I I'm not on speakerphone. Oh, okay. Maybe I should be. Okay, just try and hold the, maybe the mouthpiece a little closer to your mouth. Okay, I just want yes. people to be able to hear you clearly. Okay, yeah. and Pat, as All I right. said, my intro deliberately designed uh, to be provocative. <laughs> um, so, so lay out for me what a citizen's yeah. assembly is and how it might alter our response to uh, the problem that you regard as climate change. Okay. Um, as I was saying, which people may not have um, completely heard, if you talked about a suspension of democracy. It is, in fact, an augmentation of democracy because it is a means whereby uh, non-expert people can uh, spend some time informing themselves, being informed about issues, coming together with people they haven't met before, um, and 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 being to ask a question, which they um, then spend a quite a considerable amount of time um, discussing and coming to a conclusion, which is then presented to the government, which may or may not adopt their resolution. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so, how does a citizens' assembly work? Okay, it's a very complicated process, quite demanding in its time and money as well. Like it um, already. It, it, uh, well, um, it, it involves um, a, a system of sending out thousands, depending on the population, uh, uh, of invitations to people from the electoral roll um, so that you get really random selection. Um, and of those then, for instance, the water care um, uh, citizens assembly sent out 1,200 invitations to people of whom they chose 40. Who, who does fact, the choosing and on what grounds do you choose? Okay, the important thing after <clears throat> the random selection via the electoral roll is <clears throat> what's called sortition. You then look at all the positive replies you've had and you are statistically familiar or you have access to the statistics of the local demography. In other words, um, you, uh, you have ethnicity differences and uh, age and uh, economic um, socioeconomic levels and where people live. And so that's quite complex sorting all that up, but people do it all the time. Why do you do and that? You Why do you do that? Why do you just... Look, look, Pat, already I think we've fallen down a rabbit hole here, Pat. That is, we, oh, yeah. elect, okay. represent, we, we elect representatives to our mm. governing and administrative bodies, right, through universal yeah. suffrage, 
Which, of course, okay. represents exactly the people who are in the community because they're the people who get to vote. So I just don't know. No, no. And you've already explained to me what sounds like an incredibly subjective and incredibly in, uh, sort of expensive way of delivering the same result as good old-fashioned one-person, one-vote democracy. Uh, but one-person, one-vote democracy, um, not everybody votes. Um, well, um, that's entirely up to them, isn't it? That's their own silly okay. fault. Well, here you can decide whether or not you want to be a part, of course, of the process of uh, Citizens' Assembly. Um, but the, the range of of people uh, is, is, will be, the sortition is, is it's pretty well recognised. Um, Where else are uh, citizens' uh, assemblies uh, used? They have been used uh, in, in, around, around the world. They were used Where by... Where around the world? Okay, Ireland. Ireland used a citizens' assembly and they tasked people to, uh, to come up with a solution whether... Um, abortion should be legalised, this is in Ireland, and whether gay marriage should be recognised. And it was subsequent to that uh, assembly that the government legalised abortion and gay marriage. Now, um, the, the government is not always obliged, well, the government is never obliged to uh, accept the results, but in this case, they did um, accept the results. They've also been used um, in France, they've been used in Holland. Um, the the, uh, the um, European um, Climate Foundation uh, has other examples of places where uh, a specific aspect of climate change uh, has been put into a question and uh, assemblies assembled in order to deal with that. Yeah. Pat, Pat, are you um, suggesting that citizens' assemblies would deliver better policies on climate change? Um, no, uh, well, they, they could, yes, whether or not these policies would be accepted, because there is, as I think you mentioned um, in your introduction, um, a gap, a gap that has existed ever since scientists first began, first recognised the problem of CO2 in the atmosphere, um, a gap between scientific findings and measures we take to uh, that government. Yeah, there's uh, also a huge prepare. gap, Pat, between scientific predictions and what's actually happening in the real world. Aha, uh -huh. well, I mean, how, what, what do you think is the problem with the summer? Well, I, I'm Europe? sorry, no, no, I don't. I just don't see sea levels rising to, to the level they say they were. I think well, you can drive a, tra I, I a truck through a lot of the predictions that have been made, and I think a lot of right-thinking people say this is just fear-mongering. And I'm kind of well, surprised, I, I, Pat, because it seems to me that you are looking through citizens' assemblies for a certain outcome to democracy that is different than the outcome we're getting now. Well, the outcome we're getting now has... Uh, the question that I asked you just a minute ago was not about um, sea level rise. I said... Uh, to what what do you see as uh, the in, in quotes cause? To what do you attribute the extraordinary hot temperatures in Europe? They're not extraordinary. They're not oh, extraordinary. Uh, there weren't thousands okay. of deaths in Britain. <laughs> there was a whole <laughs> lot of silly mainstream media fear mongering. Oh yeah. Okay. So you feel well? Yeah, no, sorry, Pat. It story. was. We've got correspondence there. It was all a big have, Pat. All oh, right. Okay. Well, that's a very comfortable way to look at it. No, it's right? not comfortable. We have weather. It can be bad. It can kill people. But you know, the world is not ending okay. bad. The sky is not falling. Okay. All right. And what about the heat dome over California last year? Yeah, there've been fires in California before. It's been hot in California before. There were. So where were where were the um, where were the orange skies caused by the uh, bushfires in Australia last Christmas? Oh, there were none. Uh, okay, but the, well, okay. So, so, so you, Pat, what I'm saying is you are looking to mess with democracy because you don't like the outcome and the rational outcome that it's delivering right now. There, there is no messing with democracy because the democratically elected government has no obligation to accept the findings. Then right? why do we waste we our money on this virtue signalling exercise? Well, be, because it is... It, because it is one way... In where governments have a choice, they can adopt it or not. 
but it's the choice that is the matter. Yeah, but the great that, thing that is in a democracy important. that we have a choice of government every three years. Okay, can I ask you a, 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 a question? Yes. Do you call yourself a climate, a climate change denier? I call myself a human being. No, no, answer the question, yes or no. No, of course I don't. Climate changes all the time. I read the weather report here every morning. <laughs> okay, but you don't... And, of course, there have been global changes in temperature and global alterations over millennia on, you know, in, in the planet. So, okay, so you'd so be you crazy to deny the idea that over time, many thousands, indeed millions of years, the climatic conditions on planet Earth change and alter. Aha, uh -huh. but those happened over millennia, didn't it? Yeah. And now what's happening is... Uh, no, over it's not. No, it's not, because we uh, do not okay. have a time frame in which to make that assessment. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, uh, I'm not sure that you and I have anything more to say to each other. Why not? Why, not? Um, why can't we keep discussing it? Because I think that, Because you can't uh, tolerate any views but your own? Well, the scientific, uh, scientific community has reached what is uh, described... No, as, it hasn't. As, as there a, are plenty of people a, in the scientific consensus. community that disagree with many okay, of the well, predictions maybe, being made and many of the modelling being used. For example, let's look at the Great Barrier Reef in Australia and the widespread claims that the Great Barrier Reef is dead or dying. There are now increasing numbers of people in the marine biology and scientific community in Australia who simply say that's not tr true, right? Well, isn't that good? Yeah, that, that's a great... Mm. Yeah, OK, but there are signs, some signs that parts of the reef uh, appear to be recovering. We need, again, a longer time frame um, to be able to corroborate that. Yes, we do. We need a longer time frame in a lot of things. I mean, the fact is, isn't it, that, that whole Pacific nations are not disappearing beneath the waves, right? Yes. Yes. And that natural, you know, volcanic activity, all sorts of other tectonic activity has far more impact on sea levels in many Pacific atolls, in many places around the Pacific Rim, than climate change ever will. Oh, well, um, that, you know, the, the, your children will see, will live long enough. Oh, to, see, that's uh, just young. such a simplistic, silly argument, isn't it? Oh, you don't care about your children. Come on, come up with some facts for me, Pat. Rather than saying, okay. I want to completely alter democracy because it's not delivering, you know, the woke virtue signalling policies I like. And I and and you just keep repeating the same nonsensical thing about me altering democracy, which I have refuted. So um, I and people can make up their own. Okay. Minds so you that. don't like the way democracy works at the moment, though, right? I absolutely um, see democracy as as I said in my article. Right? Who was it who said democracy is the best worst way um, to yeah. run a country? Uh, I agree. Yeah. Somebody famous. See, we've got right. some okay. common ground there. Uh, uh -huh. Well, I, I'm not knocking democracy and citizens' assemblies as I keep as I will repeat. Yeah. Who decides you, what issues? Of, of who decides what <laughs> issues citizens' assemblies should uh, consider? Well, well, the the people, the organisation like Watercare, who are running the assembly. But they're right? just bloody so bureaucrats. They don't have any vested uh, democratic rights <laughs> to decide what gets discussed. They are tasked with running the water show in Auckland. Yep, and they are, and they should the do main... their job as directed by democratically elected officials when they spend okay, public money or they exercise statutory right. Uh, but it, as a very contentious issue of water, surely yep. it's a reasonable thing to do to seek a uh, community uh, feed-in on what decisions most suit that community. Yep, that's right. Why? What's wrong with having... There's yeah, nothing. Okay, that's well, why we have local body elections and councils. Uh -huh. Who should be right, the people in control of outfits like Watercare. We should not cede our democratic rights to crown-owned yeah, entities and bureaucracies. And no rights have been ceded. It is merely an opinion that is being sought, which is I keep saying, And who decides which opinion other. on which issue that you seek? Uh, well, the bureaucrats who you malign, who have been elected to, to uh, run the show, they... Bureaucrats are aren't elected, they're appointed. 
bad. That's a well, misunderstanding you've got. A bureaucrat gets a job. They don't get uh, elected to a job. Politicians and representatives get elected to jobs. Okay. Um, I'm going to sign out of this because I have other things to do. Good on um, you, Pat. I thank uh, you for your time then. Good, because she's got other things to do. I'd hate to hold it. Citizens' Assemblies are a dumb idea. They're anti-democratic. And, of course, the people who promote them just have a certain view of the world that they want to enforce on other people. Um, and I'm sorry I ended that because I didn't think we were probably going to have anything nice to say about each other uh, as a response. But honestly, the bureaucrats should decide what we discuss. No, they should do what we tell them to do as citizens and people. But it's such a strange thing, these citizens' assemblies. The Greens are all over citizens' assemblies. And you know why the people who most like citizens' assemblies are the people who get the smallest amount of a vote? 